Hello everyone, this is Dr. Karima Sachdeva and today we are going to discuss about Rotterdam's criteria. So what is Rotterdam's criteria? It is a criteria to define polycystic ovarian syndrome. So in order to diagnose polycystic ovarian syndrome, two out of three features should at least be present. The first one is presence of ovulatory dysfunction. Second is hyperandrogenism. Third is polycystic ovarian morphology on the ultrasound. So if any two of these is present, we call the patient to have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So coming one by one to each of these, the first one which is ovulatory dysfunction. So ovulatory dysfunction could result in oligoanovulation which is much more common or polymenorrhea, which is just seen in 2% of the patients with PCOS. So, if there is, a, a, how do you define it? If the cycle, the period cycle is either less than 21 days or more than 35 days, or if there is less than 8 cycles in a year, we call a person to have ovulatory dysfunction. Then, the second criteria, which is hyperandrogenism. So hyperandrogenism could be clinical or biochemical. In order to diagnose clinical hyperandrogenism, we have a scale which is called as Perman Galway scale, in which we score the body hair in nine parts of the body from zero to four. And if the score is more than equal to four to six, we call the patient to have clinical hirsutism. The other features apart from excessive body hair and the facial hair of hirsutism include acne or androgenic hair loss. Then we can also detect it through biochemical hyperandrogenism for which we check testosterone level, total of free, sex hormone binding globulin, androstenedion or free androgen index which is the most sensitive parameter. Now moving on to the third parameter which is the ultrasound feature of PCOS which is polycystic ovarian morphology on ultrasound. So how do we diagnose it? On an ultrasound if you have a older machine with resolution less than 8 megahertz then if there are at least 12 follicles or if you have a better resolution machine then at least 20 follicles per ovary are there, then you call it as PCOS. The second thing, based on the volume, if the volume of the ovary is more than equal to 10 cm cube, or if there is peripheral distribution of the follicles. So this is how you define polycystic ovarian morphology. So this was about Rotterdam's criteria of PCOS. I hope I'm clear. Thank you so much for watching.